Welcome back to Attract Passion, my friends. As many times we can find crazy conspiracy theories and here and there I receive from different people certain videos that can explain different conspiracies, what will happen in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years. And when people are watching this kind of informations, Many people got scared, like, what can we do? What is going on and how to adapt to it? So, an interesting thing is that we are not just observers here. We are not just victims of circumstances. As we are constantly talking about the true nature of reality is that everything is creating everything but in the background of everything is a greater mind. We could say a divine order, we could say an infinite intelligence, or scientists would say a divine matrix, which is truly intelligence force, connecting everything together. So, my mission with this video today is to bring you another perspective of how to look on to the future. So, many times when we are observing different conspiracy theories, we got scared. Our brain goes into high beta brainwave state and we start paying more attention to what is causing that emotional state of fear, maybe anger, frustration, whatever it is. So, if we are creating life in the present moment, when a thought is triggering emotion, together we are creating intention. And we are sending that this intention to the quantum field, which will bring us more of what we are sending. It will project to us more of what we are sending. So, most people are sending intentions which are based on some negative informations and they are experiencing more of those negative manifestations. So, what is your intention when you are looking into your future? Because intention is creating your future. This is a concept of quantum physics. When an observer is observing the atoms, Atoms are constantly reacting to the intention of an observer. So, wherever we are looking at, we will always create something which is possible to see. So, the real question right now is how we are looking into the future. Are you led to be distracted by certain sources of information? which are telling to you how to think and how to feel about it? Or are you ready to step beyond it and create your own vision of the future, where you will set an intention which is created and designed by you, so you can know that the future can be as beautiful as you can see it? It's a whole another perspective. And an interesting thing that I found was that everyone is talking just about the evolution of technology. But not many people are talking how that evolution of technology is actually affecting also on an awareness of human consciousness. Before we go further, I want to read to you a quote by Nikola Tesla. He said that the day science begins to study non-physical phenomenon, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. And that is happening right now. It's a byproduct of the evolution of technology. If we go a little bit into science, we can find out that Science in the sphere of mindfulness and meditation is evolving faster than ever. I can show you a graph here. You can see the proof of it. Since the year of 1970 to the year of 2015, we can see a huge 
evolution in that area. So it's not just that technology is evolving, also we are evolving, our understanding of nature, of reality is evolving. When technology is evolving, also our understanding of reality is evolving with that. So there is no need to be afraid of the future, but rather to become more conscious in the present moment so we can decide and choose how to use technology as a help to evolve in our understanding. But we also need to be aware that the greatest technology we can find is what we already have within us. We need to expand our knowledge. We need to expand our awareness so we can connect the dots. It's not that we are becoming victims of technology. It's not that we are becoming victims of circumstances. We are creating technology. We are creating circumstances. The point is, we are creating. And the question is, what we will choose to create for the future? With each moment, we are walking through life. And if we just look into the future with a positive perspective, we will feel positive emotions about it. When we feel positive emotions, we are more productive, we are more creative, we feel better. And we also experience more love for ourselves and eventually for others. If we are able to increase our emotional state, we are increasing our state of being. When our state of being is increasing in spirituality, we would say our vibration is rising. When our vibration is rising, we feel more connected to everything. But at the same time, we feel more disconnected from the illusion of what we think that is real or what we call our identity. As soon as we disconnect from it for a little bit, we open to the mind of imagination. This mind is not judgmental. This mind is not thinking what can go wrong. This mind can only see potentials. It means that if you're happy, you will see positive potentials. And if you're scared, you will see negative potentials. But we as the consciousness can choose the potentials. So you see right now, we can only see our future equal to our present emotional state. And if we are constantly distracted by different sources of information which are causing fear and stress within us, we can't see the greater future. So we need to disconnect from it. We need to raise our energy. We need to awaken more love within us. We need to do more things we love to do. We need to be more inspired so we can feel more inspired. And by that, emotions of inspiration, emotions of joy, emotions of happiness, emotions of love, then we can see a greater future. Then we can choose the potentials in the quantum field which we want to bring into the life with our emotional state. So we need to ask ourselves how it would feel like. How it would feel like having that kind of relationship. How it would feel like if humanity would be more connected in the future. How it would feel like if my body would be healthy, completely healthy. What is the emotional expression of that experience? If we call up the emotions, we feel the future. We feel how that future feels like. Then we need to take actions with that emotional state. If we take actions with that emotional state, we start walking towards that future. We've chosen the potential. Now we need to walk towards it. And sometimes, somewhere, it will meet us, we will experience it, or in other words, we will manifest it. 
So when you're thinking about the future and if you're watching different conspiracy theories and whatever you can find, always think about another side of the story. Question what you're hearing. Not with judgmental mind. Question it with your imaginational mind. With your creative mind. Because everything in third dimension is made on duality. So we can find that if somebody is talking about that kind of evolution and everything is going wrong and blah, 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 blah to scare you, question it. Is it really that way? Or is there another way that maybe people are just not talking about it? We need to question everything. You also need to question this video that you're watching right now because maybe I'm talking the truth, maybe I'm talking just another thing. You need to question it and find your own truth within everything. Not taking decisions based by what somebody is saying, but rather go into the truth of that information to find out what is best for you. By that, you will choose best decisions for your future and the future of the next generations. By that, we are creating the change that we wish to see. We all know that we need to become the change before we are able to experience changes in the world. And if we want to be the change, we need to know how to become the change. We need to change our way of thinking by questioning beliefs. Questioning all the beliefs that we are holding in our mind. What is God? What is soul? What is consciousness? And you will see that the universe will slowly start showing to you different synchronicities. You will be leaded to different books, different videos, different informations where answers slowly will be revealed to you. And you will find your answers. So that's the magic behind life. And I just wanted to give you this other perspective of how we can look onto the future because it can change many things. So... By saying that, I will leave you here, let this message sink and truly think about how to improve yourself and what are the limitations that you're still caught in, how to step out of the box and how to see the bigger picture of everything, how to dig deeper into the understanding of yourself and the understanding of life because everything is hidden in our hearts we just need to know how to enter it so this is it for today i'm sending you love power and blessings like always have a beautiful day my friends and in this video you were watching a painting by the name Into the Unknown and you can see a hand reaching out of the world, out of the universe, searching for the unknown, stepping out of the known beliefs, out of the known perceptions to see what else we can find. By doing that we are freeing ourselves from the self-taught false limitations that are actually not even real. That's the reason why I left the blank canvas at the top of the painting so everyone can make his or her own perception. And longer we are reaching into that new perception, we could say new mind, faster it will start projecting in our reality and we will start manifesting the results of the new mind. The change in our energy will start reflecting the change in our life. So this is it, a reminder that manifestation is possible for you and you can create your own reality. That's it my friends, one love.